so glad to have you joining us online today. We also have a great in-studio audience here. Thanks for being here. And over on the couch, you fell in love with him as Fez, and now he's a star of the new NBC show, Awake. It's Wilmer Valderrama. Thank you very much. Please, have a seat, guys. Have a seat. No, have a seat, guys. Oh, she was Donna, the beautiful girl next door, but now she's Chelsea, the beautiful waitress with attitude. Laura Prepon. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. She's so hot. And from our partners at Chill.com, the man who lets us know what all of you are thinking throughout the show, Mark Hootsbeck. Well, thanks, Shira. You too can be part of the discussion by joining the live chat on youtube.com slash what's trending or tweet us at what's trending. Yeah, do it. You see, this means do it. I'm reading. If you're pointing right there. So, Wilmer, we'll start with you. <laughs> well, one, what do you think I'm going to ask with two of you being here? Uh, is it weird yeah, to be yeah, back yeah. together after so many years? <laughs> you didn't even know that she was going to be here. You actually, it was incentive That's enough true. that I was going to be here, that he wanted to be on the show. We, right, right. Whole thing. We wanted to surprise him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Surprise! I didn't know you were going to be on! <laughs> but it's nice though. I thought it would help. It was like a nice casting decision, I think. Yeah, I think no, so. No, it was good. It was, no, it was really cool. It was very, uh, it was a <laughs> And we saw it it too. This was all yes. planned. Yes, we did. But yeah, you guys hang out throughout the years, you know? You, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you guys are all buddies. That's get away from each other. And well, that's what's really cool is like, you know, when we say that um, the cast of 70s is really tight, we actually really mean it. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, we've been really fortunate, such an awesome group, and we've all stayed really close throughout the years. Yeah, we're the most uh, unconventional, you know, uh, TV cast ever. I mean, we've been able to do a bunch of different things that uh, the industry has allowed us to do and, and, and stayed you know, a family uh, through the same journey. I also think what's cool is that you each have had really great careers after the show. Now let's start with your new show, Awake, tomorrow night, premieres. Yeah, and I have to, uh, Are you I have to put on my serious face for this. <laughs> really? Yeah, because exactly. it's, totally, yes. it's a bit of a different character for you. It is, you know, it is. It's, um, <laughs> it's one of those uh, things, it's a chapter in my life. <laughs> How many times have you said this? Um, three this morning, <laughs> no. actually. No, uh, no, very exciting. You know, very exciting. This is this is the single show that that made me come back to television. You know, I've um, I've gotten a few scripts in the last couple of years to to consider returning, and uh, nothing really felt you know uh, unique and fresh and different as as the '70s show once felt. And uh, you know, when I read this uh, this script, I thought it was one of the most incredible things I've ever read, and, and nothing that television has ever seen. Yeah. And uh, you know, executive producer Howard Gordon, who did X Files, Twenty Four, and the Homeland, and uh, you know, we're we're very blessed to be in such leadership, and and you know, sharing the screen with Jason Isaacs, it doesn't She's definitely awesome. hurt. Well, we have a clip actually. Cool. So let's show it for let's everyone. Well, I've been meaning to thank you, sir. I've been passed over for detective twice before this assignment, so I'm pretty sure to be in uniform if you hadn't requested me. I didn't request anyone. If you got promoted, it's nothing to do with me. They probably didn't want to waste anyone else's time babysitting me. Now go check the camera. You know, cop investigator drama shows do well on TV, I've heard. It's true. Yeah. This is true. Well, yeah, I mean, this is a very, again, very non-traditional, um, you know, uh, cop drama, really. It's, uh, it's the journey of this, you know, of Jason Isaac's character, Michael Britton, who who gets in a car accident on his way home uh, from dinner with his family. His, his son dies in the accident. When he goes to sleep, wakes up the next morning, and realizes his son is alive, and his wife is the one that's suffering the accident. And he finds himself living two parallel dreams, so you know which one's real. He has two different partners, Steve Harris and myself, and, and each reality he has two psychiatrists, B.D. Wong and Sherry Jones and the other. And, um, and it's just uh, the roller coaster of his uh, emotional journey as he solves a mystery, a couple, two mysteries a show, mm -hmm. Um, the clues being in the other alternative uh, uh, realities, and the case somehow intertwining directly with his emotional stage. That's yeah, pretty that's intense. Cool. I watched it. I was like, oh my it's god, like I feel Inception, kind of. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. That's cool. Oh, mm -hmm. that's. But you now are part of a show that's more comedic. Obviously. Yeah, we're on the other side <laughs> of the spectrum from like you know sons being like not around. Are you there, like, Chelsea? Dreams. Which mm -hmm. is already on air. It's a really fun show. It's based on a book. Yeah. And you got involved with this from the beginning, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like Wilmer said, you know, after being on such an amazing show, like 70s, you know, um, I went and did a show called October Road, and, which I loved too, yeah. but it was totally different. It was a drama. And then going back to comedy, you know, it would have to be really special since 70s was such an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. right. And this show was just so awesome. And Chelsea, for people who <laughs> yeah. know her, I mean, she's an amazing chick, and she has, she's just awesome. And to be able to, like, play her is... There's no one like her on television, so it's pretty it's we have cool. A, we have a clip of that also, so let's take a look. Hey, Iron Pigs. Congrats on your big win. Wow. I mean, it's got to be my day. I hit a game-winning Grand Slam, and now I have a beautiful woman about to bring me dinner. 
Come oh, on, sweet. Seriously, what do you want? I don't have all day. I want you to dance with me. Oh, I can't dance. I'm working. Very spoil alert. Whoa! Can you say spoil alert much? So this is uh, yes, I am on the show as well. <laughs> I know, this is very meta. Is that a surprise right now? <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly. This whole like, show is going to be a surprise. 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 I'm actually in the clip promoting <laughs> your show. <laughs> You're everywhere on NBC. <laughs> Apparently, man. It's awesome. It's a really funny episode, too. So What was cool. the process of getting into that character? Hanging out a lot with Chelsea or drinking a lot yeah, of vodka? Yeah, drinking a lot, a lot of vodka. Drinking, a lot well, of when drinking. I, yeah, exactly. When I first got the show, she sent me a case of Belvedere or vodka, and awesome. she's like, this is to help you get in the character. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, honestly, she, Chelsea and I have like a really similar essence to each other. You know, we're both from Jersey, we're both from big families, and we both just kind of have this quality where we definitely look like we could be sisters and yeah. feel like it's tr real when you watch us that we could be sisters. And um, I don't know, it just literally like right when we met, we're just kind of like, okay, like this is happening. You know, mm. it was really, it was just one of those things. Where the stars align, you're like, this is the perfect really cool. project. Now, do you feel like there's a consistent theme here? I think 2011, we saw it a bit, but 2012 with women in comedy. 100%. So totally. what do you think about that and that evolution? Well, honestly, like, you know, you have like Whitney and Two Broke Girls and yeah. all these shows where Tina the Fey. women, yeah, totally, where all these women are like doing things that you normally see like men doing, you know what I mean? And I feel like, um, I feel like audiences are, people are starting to realize that audiences are really smart, they're mature, they can mm -hmm. handle the fact that a woman goes out and like can have like a one night stand and do kind of crazy stuff that yeah. you normally see like a guy doing on the show. Yeah. Or, you know, that we can be like brash and you know, have <clears throat> cutting edge humor type of thing. It's not like an I am woman, hear me roar thing. I just think that over the last couple of years, there's definitely this resurgence of female leading comedies. Yeah, embracing the times, for sure. Yeah. What's your favorite man behavior? <clears throat> my favorite Wilmers. man behavior? <laughs> yeah, anything Wilmers. Wilmers does. Wilmers. <laughs> it's my favorite right. man behavior. But you know what, let me say something real quick, because I, I think a lot, of, a lot of times, you know, you know, it's really hard to say that about yourself sometimes, but, but um, Laura Prepon is one of the most talented human beings I've ever met. And when I found out that she was going to get her own show, I mean, it was, it was about time that the world could really understand and appreciate the force that she is, and for me, it was Aww. just really, you know, really, really exciting because. Uh, <laughs> no, because. To Wait, be honest, I'm gonna slip a hundred bucks. I'm expecting more than that. <laughs> a lot of favors. But no, but I, but I, but but I, to be honest, when I found out, you know, on the '70s show, she did such an incredible job, and she really kind of was her own leading woman, and to be able to have her have an entire. You know, 30 minutes for herself is, is really is really great, and and that I remember the, the the fact that I on the same network as I'm doing a wave, I, know, I can come so back and, and do an episode with her was was Thank so you. awesome. It was yeah. the best the best time. Thank you. Well, we are so and happy to have you here today. And we made out, and it today. wasn't weird. <laughs> 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 That'll be another.